So grief is an invisible process. So this external event has happened, but the turmoil and the distress and the pain of it is invisible to everybody else. And the ignorance that people have about grief means that they don't get the right support for themselves. So grief often feels like fear. It often feels like there's this Jaws music in your body, dum, 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 dum. And you get these shocks and waves of the fear, but you can also get shocks and waves of absolute pain that stymie you and kind of freeze you in the middle of a supermarket. And you can feel numb for months, even years. Your memory is much worse than usual. And I mean, I think one of the most difficult things about grief is that it's kind of chilly and you feel very alone. Mm. And everything that you feel is unfiltered and you don't really have the capacity to moderate your own feelings. So it affects your relationships. It affects how you feel about work because often work can feel meaningless and pointless. You look at your best friends who have the person that has died and you begin to hate the person that is your closest friend. So it, it plays out in your relationship with yourself that often grief, one of the most other difficult things is that, is that people turn against themselves because they somehow think that they're failing because they're feeling so much and they feel that they should be doing it orderly, like, you, you know, Marie Kondo, your feelings, like the sort of five stages of grief. And you can't. You can have 15 emotions all at the same time. And so what really helps people is having a relationship with themselves that they can begin to slow down. And it's a bit like going into a very messy room. You can begin to take out each aspect of yourself and understand it. Mm -hmm. And then when you have a kind of image for it and understanding of it, your compassion for yourself, your response to what you feel is much more effective. Mm. And that is how you heal. And so what are some common symptoms that people experience when they go through grief? Grief is very embodied. Sometimes people can't sleep. Sometimes they sleep all of the time. Sometimes people can't eat. Sometimes they can only eat and they kind of try and fill the hole with food. And also you can have physiological symptoms. People often talk about, like, my heart is hurting. Mm. Men often talk about that their legs are hurting, they want to run all the time. And you can have this kind of tightness in your whole body and your capacity to kind of manage yourself is foreshortened. So you're feeling much worse, your body is feeling much worse and you can literally feel like you're going mad. 